So once in a blue moon, I come across a comment that I need to answer. Now, I'm not looking to out clocks. I love clocks and I love clocks' opinion, but I thought this comment deserved a video answer. So with no further ado, we're going to get into it. Also tonight, I'm going to have a Giants roundtable about 8, 830. I'm going to have Kid Blue, The Hub, and Heartstorm Media on the channel. So check that out. With no further ado, let's get into it. I really don't care if people see this as petty. It's just what I do. I am OGR. So let's get into the comment. Sorry for the background noise, guys, but I wanted to read Clox's comment before I actually get into my rebuttal. Bro, you're wrong, and I'll tell you why. How come everyone approves of the great character Andrew Thomas is? He's a great kid. Everyone says, says it so. I give Gettle and his staff high praise for Thomas. But how come you don't see the blame that Baker is not a good person? And it's Gettle and his staff job to vet him. You see OGR, I use both sides of the argument, not just one. It's... It's their job. And if you don't see it, we'll wake up, my brother. And before I start my rebuttal, I just want to say this real quick. It is Gettleman staff to vet him. And they did vet him. And they took a chance. You ever take a chance, Clock? But you know what? We'll save the rest of this for getting into rebuttal. Clocks, this is not done maliciously. Understand this. I have no problem pe people disagreeing with me. But when you tell me I'm wrong and I'm not, you poke the bull, you get the horns. And maybe you haven't been part of this channel long enough, but you should know OGR's rebuttals. Here's one for you. I don't care how big or small you are. I don't care if you're a YouTuber who has zero subscribers or a YouTuber who has none or a guy that just loves being on YouTube and supporting other YouTubers. I do not care. This is what I do. And you're probably wondering why I, get, I have Tyron Matthew behind me, but before I get into it, yes, Andrew Thomas is a high character guy. I don't disagree on that. The rest of that comment... I totally and utterly disagree, and you do not see both sides. Because none of that, none of it in there have you ever held DeAndre Baker responsible for his own action. I do. And that's why I don't hold Dave Gettleman accountable. But I want to get into my Tyron Matthew point very quickly. Because you know what? Tyron Matthew is a lot like DeAndre. Plays cornerback, doesn't he? Or did. Now he's more of a hybrid, hybrid safety corner. Uh, very talented at LSU. Had a tough upbringing. You don't have to go very far into research to find that out. Had a very tough upbringing. You know, fought through it. You know, even after his bad year in 2012, where he was basically kicked off the team by Les, Les Miles, or at least suspended. I don't remember the whole spiel. Drafted in the 2013 draft. They took a chance on him, 69th overall. A lot of people thought he was the third best corner in that draft. A lot like DeAndre. Arizona Cardinals took a chance on him. You know what? Tyron Matthew developed. Tyron Matthew was an integral part of a Super Bowl run for the Kansas City Chiefs last year, wasn't he? Sometimes in life, clocks, you take chances. And you're never going to get ahead in life unless you do. Every business in life takes chances. Dave Gettleman's not afraid to. And that's why I don't blame Dave Gettleman. He did vet DeAndre Baker. He did look at the person DeAndre Baker was and said, I'm going to take a chance. Kirby Smart believed in him. Why can't I? DeAndre Baker failed. And the one thing you're not doing is holding DeAndre Baker accountable for his own actions. No, you rather blame Dave Gettleman or Joe Judge or throw them under the bus. I do not. I hold people accountable for who they are and what they do. And they, that's all the Giants did for DeAndre was give him chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. And he failed, 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 and failed again. So no. I'm not going to blame Dave Gettleman. I'm going to blame DeAndre Baker. Yeah, you're right. DeAndre Baker's not a good person. But you know what? Sometimes you take a chance on not good people and they develop into some. One, it happens. Feel good stories happen all the time. And that's what the Giants tried to do with DeAndre and it failed. And yes, it's a first round pick. And yes, it stings. But this is going to make or break the team. And now because of DeAndre's failure, somebody has a chance to shine that probably wouldn't have one. And this can be a positive story for the Giants, not a negative one. So no, Clocks, you don't see both sides because you're so quick to blame Dave Gettleman. Because you don't like, he's not making the team in your image. And all of the things that you ever throw at me is because Dave Gettleman is not making the team in what you want it to be. We'll find out if you're right in a year or two here. But if we begin to have success, huh, I wonder why. Either way. It's been OGR Sports, and I'll catch you on the next vid.